Thank you, Aya. Next, we have Ada Lee with Needle in a Haystack, the search for affordable cell and gene therapy. <laughs> a million dollars. How would you feel if someone told you this was how much it would cost to save the life of someone you love? What if diabetics had to pay $800,000 a year for their insulin? And what if one course of antibiotics was to cost 300 grand? What would this mean for all of the patients who have lives that depend on their medication? Well, this is the typical cost of a cell and gene therapy treatment. Cell and gene therapy is a last resort treatment to a lot of patients who are living with rare diseases and cancers. It's a last resort, not because the treatments don't work, they've actually been proven to work really well, but it's because of what they cost. These treatments are so expensive because of the highly skilled labor and the expensive big equipment that goes into making them. Successful cell and gene therapy critically depends on having enough stem cells. And these cells are as useful as they're difficult to find, like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Stem cells are basically like these blank canvas cells, but then they have an amazing ability to evolve and change into all of the different types of cells that our bodies need. They're the ones that are responsible for healing your wounds, for regenerating your muscles, and making sure you've got a fresh supply of blood pumping through your body all the time. But despite being so special, there are very few of these cells around. And physically, they don't actually look that different to other types of cells in our bodies. They have a similar shape and a similar size. So think about this. If you could take this haystack and place it on a surface that had a force so specific and so strong that it was capable of capturing just that one single needle, you'd be able to blow everything else you don't need away. And this starts to sound like a solution. Well, this is what I'm trying to achieve in my PhD. I want to find a surface that can make these stem cells stick. And in our lab, we're doing it all on a microscopic scale. This means that the solution we're developing is going to be simplified, it's going to take up less time, less space, but most importantly, it's going to cost less money. So far in my research, I found that by arranging different molecules in different ways on different surfaces, it's possible for us to capture the cells that we want and repel the cells that we don't want. And hopefully, with a little bit more fine tuning, everything else will simply get blown away. By increasing the efficiency and decreasing the cost of finding stem cells, I want to contribute to making cell and gene therapy more affordable. Because if a treatment is effective, it shouldn't just be available to people who can afford it, but to every single patient who needs it. Thank you.